Hello and welcome everyone on my channel. I hope you are doing great in your life. So quite recently I was going through few cases on domestic violence which increased my interest more to get into depth of this subject and here I came up with this video. I wanted to make this video regarding this particular topic of domestic violence in which my few observations would be put on. Also, I would like that you should definitely share your experiences as well as your comments in the comment section in case if you have any so that we can have more open forum so that anybody in case they even bump up with your comment, they can have a better insight. Even I can read your comment and we can all have a better perspective regarding this topic. Domestic violence is not something very new we are talking about. Neither the terminology is new neither the laws regarding it are new so we already have laws regarding domestic violence but it is very gender specific it is regarding domestic violence uh, uh, laws when we are talking about it is uh, mainly protecting the women but here in this video i'm talking about domestic violence in general so when we talk about domestic violence we have to first of all segregate these two terminologies domestic as well as violence violence means all those act which is violent in nature that is harmful to you domestic which happens in the household now there are a lot of domestic relationships people share so first of all let us get into what is this domestic relationship domestic relationship is within the household the relationships that you share for example uh, father daughter uh, relationship mother daughter son relationship husband wife in laws and all of that so uh, in case people are in joint family setup they could be relatives other than the husband wife and the children so there could be in a joint family setup there could be more members so everybody who is living inside the domestic setup would consist into a domestic relationship and violence means that if there is any violent activities happening so that inside this domestic household it would result into domestic violence but when it comes to law it is very specific regarding domestic violence against women so the laws generally protect the women now there are various reasons why domestic violence happen and strangely uh, there are a lot of reasons which results in domestic violence and it is not uh, something which happens into a particular strata my studies have shown that domestic violence is not just confined to the areas which is restricted with poverty, which is doomed with lack of education and other infrastructural issues. It is not uniform though, but it also pertains in the high classes as well. So we will be discussing further ahead what we have to talk about in these different spheres. So when you talk about the Indian laws, domestic violence, do we have a lot of laws for the men? Sadly, we don't have a lot. So does domestic violence happen to the men? Obviously, yes. So domestic violence happen in a large number to women. But we cannot say that domestic violence does not happen to men. Men are equally victims of domestic violence, but sadly, their cases do not get registered. But on the other hand we have huge number of cases of domestic violence against women and there are reasons for that uh, them uh, to happen domestic violence uh, which happens in the women's sector a lot of reasons are there for example a lot of women are school dropouts they have not completed their higher education they have not completed education to get a good job a lot of women are unemployed so when the women don't have proper education they have lack of education they don't have financial freedom there is very less choices for them to make and they are completely dependent on other members and there is a high chance that they are exploited enough by them and there could be reasons that domestic violence happened to them so this is one of the very big reason that a large number of women are still uneducated, they are unemployed, they are still dependent and they have got no choices to either walk away from the house or you know get away from that situation because they are all stuck. Now in the poor section definitely the um, 
degree or the intensity of domestic violence is high compared to the rich class or the high class and we have reasons for that uh, in the poor section the resources are very scarce very scarce the living conditions are very low and uh, when you talk about lifestyle living conditions that is very sad in the poor situations and you would find that a lot of people in the poorer sections they the men especially they are victims of uh, drug abuse i i would rather say not victims of they are actually a drug addict victim would not be the right word to use over here but yeah they are drug addict or uh, alcohol uh, abusers and they uh, you first of all they don't have uh, money they are uh, involved into a lot of illegal activities and in case they earn or they steal money or whatever however they snatch money or accumulate money they spend most of them they uh, abuse it on alcohol or drug and then they beat up the children and wife or whoever is there in the family member so obviously poverty is one of the factor because of, of which crime rate is very high also and the violence rate the domestic violence rate is also very high now we talked about poverty we talked about uh, lack of education we also talked about uh, alcohol abuse and uh, the drug abuse now alcohol abuse is not just in the poor sections but it also is in the higher like you know the uh, so called middle class and the upper classes because alcohol abuse is you know people generally don't want to call themselves that they are alcohol addict or drug addict or alcohol abuser or drug abuser a lot of you know you would find that a lot of middle class or the high class they take alcohol as a status symbol that is one of that is considered to be one of the status quo factor but unfortunately a lot of studies have shown that alcohol and especially the drugs have very negative impact on our nervous system the whole uh, uh, cognitive dimensions and it impacts very badly on a human cognitive thinking skill and a lot of uh, middle class and the upper high class or the high class whatever if you have to call that a uh, name then they are even a uh, drug addict and alcohol abuser and a lot of people they drink and they beat up their uh, child and their wife now there is high chance that in these sections of the society that you would find educated women and also women who are working but then there are a lot of uh, instances where you would find that even the educated women and uh, the working women you would find that they are victims of uh, violence and the question is why did she not leave that her whole uh, home or why is she still stuck in that marriage why did she not walk away so we have a few answers from the studies which i have gone through and that i would like to present is uh, something of this sort is that a lot of places um, if a woman is in the marital in a marriage bond okay so this thing this conditioning the social conditioning has been prevalent that marriage is a sacramental process you should not break your marriage it is like forever so a lot of people even in the high classes they are of this thinking uh, they fear from the society people are uh, society fearing people so they are like what the other people will think if you break the marriage so people try to men even if you know violence is happening even the the girl's own parents try that no you should like work on the marriage and just give it more chances so that you know there's scope of improvement i was recently going through a case in which a wife was murdered by her husband after uh, his drug abuse and then uh, that murder, uh, that wife is now dead and now you know uh, she had uh, uh, given this uh, connotation in her own family that the husband of her beats her regularly and the family came to just uh, you know uh, say the husband that is your it's your marriage she's your wife and you should not behave like that there was more like you it was it was not uh, they didn't come together to separate her from that marital uh, relation that oh she has been victim of violence and it's not a very safe place for her but rather she was being convinced to stay with that person and uh, uh, 
after like five years of that uh, complaint what she made to her own family she is now dead so i was going through this case uh, interestingly a lot of such cases are there where women are either killed murdered okay or they themselves commit suicide and so is the situation in men i mean like men are no less a uh, victim of domestic violence but yeah the cases uh, are not registered a lot about men because uh, it's specifically considered that women could be the only you know victim of it but uh, the sad truth is that women are definitely a major chunk of women are victims but few men are also victim and we should not ignore that very fact now moving ahead in the upper middle class or the high class or the middle class what you would like to call there is this issue of dowry system okay and which is prevalent a lot of people would uh, shut their eyes and uh, turn off their ears when they think that oh i don't take dowry i don't take dowry but a lot of people they take dowry and uh, uh the uh, they that that is never get uh, that never get registered and even you know uh in the upper classes you would find that dowry is one of the reason for uh, domestic violence that no first of all dowry is illegal still people take with all the audacity they take and still you know the dowry is not enough so when they feel that the dowry is not enough they start torturing the wife and uh, uh become very violent so dowry is one of the very big reason in the upper middle class middle class and the high classes for domestic violence which still is there i mean like they have the money the greed is never enough also there would be situation of having a female child still gender inequality is on its surge and a lot of instances are there that when the wife gives birth to a female child and in case if you have a little knowledge of biolo- bio- uh, biology a woman body has nothing to do with the gender of the child i mean like the sex of the child is determined by the chromosome that would come from her father so if a girl child is born so the blame what is given to the woman she has nothing to do it because the chromosome which determines the gender of the child it comes from the father and uh, you would see that uh, in most of situation where a girl child is born uh, people start uh, behaving or humiliating the women and they start violate uh, like being violent or uh, you would see that a lot of abuse happen because she gave birth to a girl child which is very unfortunate so these are few of the reasons uh, which i came up in the studies i might be missing few of them and in case uh, you find certain reasons uh, that you could put up in this video you can definitely feel free to comment me in the comment section now going through these uh, studies i also came up like uh, how do we curb up this uh, situation there should be some solution how do we tackle this thing right we always have this enforcement thing we have the laws and the enforcement agencies to curb up and tackle these situations but in spite of having all of them we still are seeing situations the unreporting of the cases obviously happens the so many unregistered cases happen so many deaths happen so how do we curb up about this thing and a lot of domestic violence is not taken seriously that yeah it's a marital thing violence happened that the, you know that people have a lot of excuses and justifications of staying in a violent situation for example like if two uh, utensils or like if there will be utensils in the home there would be noise so you know people give such jargons when it comes to domestic violence so how do we come up, come up with solutions to curb up this issue so uh, while i was uh, deeply intrigued and studying on this subject what uh, really uh, bothered me or shocked me at my individual level is that domestic violence is prevalent even in the educated classes so how do we curb up when the most educated or the so called educated from our thought process could that be, oh they could have walked up but couldn't walk out from that situation were stuck so the only answer which could come is that the education the formal education has no role in providing a person awareness and a tackling mechanism to get out of a 
abusive or a violent situation so there should be awareness and implementation of tackling mechanism when violence occurs so it has nothing to do with the education that you get in your college or universities or schools but it is more about a awareness thing of that situation how to tackle domestic violence so there should be uh inclusion of the government in this situation where training as well as tackling mechanism should be provided to uh, people of both the, of all the three genders how to deal with domestic violence so obviously you know a lot of campaigns ads and all of that should be promoted enough so that people are made aware about it's wrong i mean like uh, Uh, it is wrong and rather walk out of the situation than to see yourself dead or killed or murdered uh, because it, there are cases in which you would just see it and you would feel like if that person would have just walk out they would be in a better place but they were all stuck because they could not get out of that now they're all dead and killed and murdered So yes, there is this one solution which I came up with of awareness, and how do we do that? Is still a subject that really need a lot of attention. So that's what my conclusion came up with. That awareness is the least step or the basic step, the first step we can go ahead in curbing and uh, alerting the people regarding domestic violence. That's it in my video. I hope you like this video and enjoyed this session. I hope that it is informative for you. And in case of comments or anything that you want to discuss about on this topic, you can feel free to write me down in the comment section. Bye bye and take care.